Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am the crazy KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting me, then welcome. I am a crazy lifetime thrifter that has turned reseller, and this is my wonderful journey. So if you're interested in the tips and the tricks and the things I learn along the way, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe down below because I could use some help right now. All right, guys, it is Thrift Haul Thursday, my favorite day of the week. This is where, yeah, I normally go into my Goodwills, but this happens to be a Missouri haul. When I was on vacation, I cannot resist shopping in Missouri um, because I love vintage. Uh, yes, of course, I like to save my best items for last. So um, let's just go through and dive in. This is a combination of one thrift store and a few garage sales along with some free gift me's from my mother. So <laughs> let's see what I've got to resell. All right, first item. I have no idea. I did Google it. It looked like it was an expensive brand. It is, um, I don't know. I looks like ISDA and Co. I don't know, and I think it's a silk blend. It is a blazer or a jacket. No, sorry, I lied. Of course I lied. It is a viscose cotton blend. Um, but the comps looked very well on it, so yes, even if I go through and do it as a giveaway on my whatnot, not a giveaway, but as an auction piece on my whatnot, um, hey, it was free inventory, but it is super cute, so I'll do a little bit more Googling. All right, guys, I think I have to push you back a little bit. Sorry. All right, there. Is that better? I have major technical difficulties. My stand broke. Hopefully, my camera doesn't shut off. Let's keep rolling. All right, another freebie, and then I'm done with my freebies. Uh, Chico's. I love Chico's. In fact, I'm going to be doing a Chico show. This one is cotton and spandex. It is a size 2. Um, and it is just loud, obnoxious, and it is in almost like a patriotic print. So yes, um, little jean jacket. Let's see how it does. But I started sourcing Chico's and like White House Black Market and Ann Taylor to send into uh, Thread Up, and those end actually ended up being my bread and butter. But changing my business model. If you're looking for bread and butter, don't forget, go to Whatnot, follow me. All right, next piece. This one is to the max. It is vintage. It is 100% silk. I'm not lying on that one. Very boho. Look at this like uh, angel, I don't know, sleeve, tie front, this beaded embroidered um, lace trim, tied front, Peplum, like open cardigan, super cute. All right, this I think is my only modern, modern piece that I personally, no, I take that back, one other one. Anyway, um, this one happens to be Spence. It is a size 18W. Purple was huge on the runway, guys, for fall. And it is a royal purple ruffled hem um, tie. Um, mock wrap with like ruffle bell sleeves um and yes now this particular piece and the rest of the clothing that i have um this particular was a resale shop and they had where you put in as many items into like one walmart bag um so i think i did get 10 items so they ended up being a dollar piece that was one of them and um, I will be throwing that in, I believe, my one not shows. Uh, either that or, you know what, it should, it might actually sell really well on Depop. I take that back. All right, next happens to be a dress bond. It is a vintage, it is a size 18. Um, picking up the larger sizes is one of the reasons why I couldn't fit all the clothes into, a lot of clothes into the bag. But um, this is the most softest chambray and it has a texture to it. Short sleeve, button down, tie waist, um, I don't know, like A-line little dress, so cute and casual, and I don't know, is it just viscose or, uh, let me see, 
rayon polyester spandex. And I believe rayon is now viscose. So there you go. Um, another vintage piece. Of course, I'm going to find a ton of vintage. Somebody was like really surprised that I found anything, but I love vintage. So yeah, this is Positive Attitude. It happens to be, what size are you? A 14 petite, and it is a linen rayon blend. But look at this gorgeous embroidered front, um, like two-piece looking peplum, uh, short sleeve, modest, I don't know, uh, outfit. So yes, <gasps> one of my favorites. Dusters were again very huge, and this happens to be a vintage Chico Designs duster with metallic threading, and look at that print. It is just wild, it is funky, it is super lightweight. Um, I love it. It is a size one, and it's 76% 76, 76 silk. Love it. All right, this piece is 100% silk. It is Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit Designs, vintage, size 10. It is this beautiful, I don't know, it's looking a little different blue. It is almost like a sea, sea foam, not really green, but it's, I don't know. Is there a sea foam blue? Um, love the purple floral print. Um, there are a few spots on this, but it is vintage. Um, I might, because you can barely find them. Um, I think it's on this back hem. Um, oh, like here's a little spot right here. Instead of cleaning it, um, I will just go, and you can barely see it. It's like right here. Um, I will just go through and note the flaws and let the new owner take care of it. Whew, guys, it's really hot in here. All right, next, another vintage. This one's just a Jacqueline Smith, size 14, 100% silk, made in Mexico. And I'll start up close. You can see like the split flutter sleeve, draped cowl, long midi with ruffle, tiered hem, um, beautiful pink, Pink, of course, hot on the runway. Um, Barbie core, big thing right now. Not necessarily Barbie core color, but it is what it is. Okay. I uh, love this piece. This happens to be a uh, Jacqueline, no, sorry, Kathy Lee Collections. It is 100% polyester, size 12, but I got it for the print of it. And if you can see, it is just gorgeous warm colors oh it is a maxi to the floor short sleeve shift dress it is just gorgeous i just love this print 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 and no i have not gotten my stickers made still working on that all right next item a vintage latina life 14 size 14 it is a cotton blend um, again, this is a really super cute smoking jacket, blazer, metallic, um, Bricard jocade, um, cause you can see the paisley within it. It is missing one button. I will probably take off this button because it'll be too hard to match. Sorry guys. Oh, um, but I just love this corset back. So I will have that listed under weddings, um, and probably like, I don't know maybe androgynous, um, but a uh, smoking jacket, blazer. So there you go. All right. Almost to my last and final pieces on there. Um, sorry. My phone's just going to go crazy right now, isn't it? Um, anyway. <laughs> All right. So this is almost my last clothing item and then we'll go into accessories. So um, this, again, is like a, I think it's a vintage dress barn, size eight, chartreuse. Look at this. Oh, pleated, v-neck, tie waist, A-line. And I think, did I think it had pockets? I thought it had pockets. Maybe it doesn't. Um, like midi, and I've got news. I think I might be trying this one on. Oh, it is just so stinking cute. Although I have to be honest, you guys, you know, and look at the little pleats to it. I don't do well with things tied around my waist. Um, it's not my best feature. So this is one of the reasons why I 
don't necessarily follow any of the fashion like trends because what looks good on me isn't what is going to look good on everybody. Um, this one being tied a little bit higher does better. I just don't have the cinching as much in the waist and this accentuates my padding. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Enough about me. All right, <clears throat> so this is one of my best items, my best items, my best items. All right, um, my honey talked me into getting this one. It's probably, it is, no, not the most expensive item, but um, this is Gun Tote Mama. This is like new. It is in purple and it is studded. Um, I do need to get this up and get this photograph since purple was on the runway. Um, but it is, if you've not ever dealt with Gun Tote Mama, um, I actually bought it. Uh, I have a daughter who, um, yeah, but she's living in California and she's moving to Florida and you can't carry. Uh, I, I don't think in either state. So um, he talked me to doing it for Christmas, but I think it's pretty much a useless piece unless she moves to Arizona. So I will be listing and selling it. I bought it for 15. It is in excellent condition. And I do have the actual, what do you call that bag? Dust cover. I have the dust cover. If that's what it's called. Okay. Now, more, these are um, more garage sale finds and then we'll get back to the thrift store again. Um, I don't know. They have this one for 50 cents. And this is really super cool. I don't really normally sell jewelry. Um, so I have not a clue. We'll see how it goes. But I absolutely love the choker. You know, I don't really sell things that I really don't wear. And I, I, I used to wear a lot of jewelry. I used to be a funky girl. Now, not so much. Um, I picked this up. And look at the greens. And that really super cool stretch elastic bracelet and I can't remember the name of it and it's supposed to smell like something I don't smell nothing but old lady <laughs> but um, I will do some googling I think it should do fine of course I only pay 50 cents so there you go all right two more pieces of jewelry I don't know if I can get them out of the bag one says made in Italy the other one says 14 something um, I haven't really taken the, what do you call, um, sorry, my daughter, she's moving from California to Florida and she's trying to sell her house and she's under a lot of stress. I already talked to her once today. I'll call her right back when this is over. All right. Um, so this one I think says 14 and it is just a roped knotted necklace so we'll see um i need a magnifying glass i'm blinder than a bat and i can't read it and i even tried to zoom in i think with my camera but i don't know and this one is the one that says made in italy just gonna open these up i paid two for one and four for the other two i think was the first one and this one i paid four but it said Made it, I could read made it, um, Italy. I could read Italy. So when something says Italy, it's got my interest. And I thought, well, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I give it away as a Christmas present or uh, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Done with my jewelry onto the belts. Okay. So some I got at the store, um, the thrift store. So this one I got at the thrift store. It is an express but this is a vintage 80s elastic band and nice funky gold metal buckle. So yes, and it says it's size large. So, and it is leather polyester. So there you go. I do love selling the belts, guys. Um, let's see, this one is Abro, made in Italy. Couldn't pass this one up. Real leather, size medium, and... It is just this silver oval brown leather, probably two, it's bigger than two inch, I think. Um, belt, it's in good condition. So yes, I think I paid maybe $2 for that one because the belts were one and $2 at the store. So like for instance, I did pay $2 for this one. This one happens to be, I have no clue. I don't think they have a brand on here. 
I could not find a brand. It is vintage. It is leather and it has, do you see that? Those are like um, golf clubs. So um, these do very well for me, especially if it's Brighton. I paid $2. I'll probably list this for $65. Even with the little bit of wear down there, I will just note it. But yeah, it is, um, it is a vintage novelty print. This one was super cool, so I couldn't pass it up. I have no idea. I'll have to do some Googling. It says, come Rhine, Sam, I don't even know. I don't know. Um, anyway, it is a, uh, Natona, jeez, belt. Um, it is leather, but it has this BR buckle, but look at this leather detailed. I love it. I love the color. It's very neutral, vintage. So yes, more Googling. All right, guys, I guess I should back it up, back it up. Maybe I should take it out. I'm trying everything. I don't know how I'm going to do my whatnot show because I have no stand. I broke it. All right. Um, let's see. Last belt from that store is this one. And this one was a dollar. And this one is vintage leather. And can I read? It says size medium. Made in Canada. I can't read who it is. I'll do some more investigating. But look, this is like total medieval renaissance. This should do very well on Depop. It is brown, not black. All right. Now these belts I got at the garage sale and they were 50 cents each. So that should be a great profit. This one just happens to be like a, I don't know, what do they call those? Congos? I think that's what they're called. Something like that. Um, anyway, uh, just a little silver congos. Uh, <laughs> this one, gold and it's squares and circles. Congos. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, this one, I believe, is a vintage. And I think those are all vintage also. Um, this one is definitely a more delicate. Whoops. I might have to do a little fix. Not a problem. It's just out of the loop. Um, and the loop is still attached, which is great. But like this gold squiggly um, concos. So, yes. And measurements will be key if you have not followed me on Instagram. I do have like a measure chart um, and I use it and I put it in all of my listings. And if you're using lists perfectly, I have found a way to make a draft with it. And what I do, uh, well, make a listing and always have that photo in. Just like when I do Chico's, I have a Chico's. It's a draft. Um, so I have drafts and they have just the photo of my belt <clears throat> size chart and how to measure it. And... Um, then when I go to list my belts, I go to my drafts and I hit copy, 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 copy. And then I open the copies up and I insert the photos and go from there. So if you're using this perfectly and you want to make a more, I don't know, you want to use photos in part of your drafts and have it so that you're ready to rock and roll. That's how I do it. Um, this one actually does say made in the USA. It is a very thin elastic. Um, and look at that. I don't know what do you call that. I mean, it's like a, a definitely a reptile, metallic reptile gold. Um, and it's just like this little hook clasp there, a little tarnished, but super cool. So yes, I picked that up. Last and final piece, this one happens to be a Chico's and it could still be a vintage Chico's because Chico's has been around for a while. Um, and again, it's one of those, and it's a funky concos because part of it has those circles and the other part has that chain. But that can also mean that this could be very versatile in the length. There you go. Woo, guys, it's hot in here. I don't even know. It's supposed to be like 106 today and we've got humidity up the Oh, last and final belt. This one I did get at a garage sale and I did think I paid $3 for this one. But this is definitely a vintage 80s. Look at this. All the way around tapestry. Um, and it's velvet. Okay. If you do eBay, 
it's hook and loop. And you know what? Get, get yourself into the habit of doing hook and loop because if you start on any other platform, I guarantee you're, you're going to love eBay. I am. Um, I'll have to do a video on it someday. But look at that. That is so cool. So, yes, it is a vintage Liz Claiborne size small. All right. On to my best and final items. So, here we go. Uh, this is... 55% silk, 33% nylon, 10% angora, 2% lamb's wool, size medium, vintage sweater in this cream with a, I don't know, is this a shawl or a bib, beaded, bowed collar. It is so soft, neutral, cream, off-white, so adorable and that was in my bag with my other items so this was only a buck from that resale shop all right and my last pieces this hat vintage and i picked it up at that resale shop it says mexico 734s usa um and it is i have never seen one like this and i just thought it was too cool i think it should do very well on depop I will have it listed probably 75 if not higher uh, it's i have every right to change my mind La uh, not last next this item is the item i paid the most for it is in excellent condition it is a vintage made in mexico leather hat i'll use stenson cowboy um, all that in fact i've already sold this hat on poshmark for $99. Um, I will list it probably at $150, if not a little bit higher. Um, $99 was a little low, but things were slow that week, so I took it. But yes, and especially I want to get these hats listed. We are coming up on Halloween. All right. Do I have any hair left? How I look? All right, let's move on. Um, this one. This is a vintage, I paid five for this one, um, patchwork uh, leather backpack. Um, it is super cute, multicolored. You see that? Multi pocket. It has a zip pocket, a, a hook and loop pocket, another hook and loop pocket. Of course, your center drawstring. Um, it does have one flaw, which is my little crispy it was a little crispy and it broke but because it's really not unless you're holding it this way it's the tie is what's the closure that's like a fold over I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker and I will list it as is somebody could get that replaced if they really wanted to but I think it's absolutely adorable at times I can get it clicked and sometimes I can't um, I will tell you it smells like it smells basement -y. And not musty, moldy, not moldy. I don't know. Whew. Um, so I um, did purchase, I'll let you know how that goes because I still have my beautiful coat. This beautiful coat that I got and whatnot, I still have not listed it because woo, baby. So um, I purchased the charcoal um, things to put them um, a little bag to stick and seal that all up and see if I can get rid of the smell so I will try it also on that otherwise I'm going to go to vinegar and water because of its being leather all right now if you thought that haul was good just wait this is my best piece I paid four dollars for these these are vintage 1960s made in Japan white go go boots and I think they're size eight and a half yes size eight and a half great size decent condition I haven't tried to clean them up yet they are like a patent leather so this feels like a little bit of a sticker and a lot of it's rolling off but oh my gosh you guys super stoked four dollar fine Yes, I think it cost me an additional $50 to bring everything home in a suitcase. Maybe I should just box it up. I used to box it up and send it from ThreadUp to myself. Well, from into ThreadUp. And then 
any rejects I got and then they listed it and tried to sell it and whatever didn't make it and then it came back to me but those days are long and gone so anyway I hope you enjoyed it I hope you had some fun um, do me a favor don't forget show me the love push that algorithm up um, I may be cutting down on my videos because I'm uh, I should stop thrifting up, but I have some more whatnot uh, purchases that I've made um, but I'm going to be extremely busy doing the whatnot shows don't forget um, I have the links down below you can get ten dollars off your first purchase that's fab who wants you know I'm doing a three dollar start who doesn't want to go through and get like a free item maybe um, anyway I really appreciate you all thank you for coming back love you love you love you come see me on whatnot I'd love to talk to y'all until next time have a great one